how do you get rid of fleas on a gel cat? Great question. We are headed into flea season where people are going to start seeing these creeping critters popping up all over the place. Um, fleas are absolutely awful and awesome at the same time. I mean, if you think about it, they're this big and they can jump like this high, right? So uh, fleas will hatch anytime that they're near a source of heat um, that lets them know a blood meal is nearby, me, cat, dog. So they'll, they'll, um, lo they'll hatch, their eggs will hatch in response to heat, carbon dioxide that mammals are exhaling or vibration. So that's why um, when people go into an abandoned house that has been abandoned for a while and they walk across the carpet and then a day later there's fleas everywhere. Well, the vibration from walking caused all the flea eggs that were hiding in the carpet to hatch. And then suddenly, boom, you have a flea problem. And female fleas can lay hundreds of eggs per day and they take about two weeks to hatch and then they, they hatch, they eat, they make more fleas. And so if you are seeing one adult flea on your cat, that may indicate that you have a bunch of other stages of fleas in your environment. Because whenever you see one flea, you've, you've got to know that there's larva, pupa, and eggs hanging out nearby, right? So if you have um, ant cats in your house and they're indoor only, then you shouldn't be getting new fleas. If you are getting fleas on indoor only cats, then there has got to be some sort of source of infestation, right? Either another animal that's coming in, maybe the dog, maybe you're bringing the stuff in on your clothing and not knowing, maybe it's hiding in your carpet or under your cushions, right? So there are tons of products out there, prescription products. There are over the counter products that kill fleas too. But I tend to tell my um, cat owners to not use those products on their cats, especially, um, and this may sound bad, but like the hearts, the hearts products, they're cheap. Yeah, I get it. They're cheap. But the ingredients in them are not labeled for cats to be safe. And I'm talking about permethrins. Permethrins can cause a lot of toxicity. So you want to stay away from those over the counter flea products because they're mostly designed for dogs. They're safe in dogs. Cats don't metabolize them the same way, right? And I've seen a lot of toxicities with over-the-counter flea products. What you can get is prescription flea products from your vets. Vets have all different preferences on what they want to use. So take their advice into heart. And um, if there's something that works better for you, do not be hesitant to ask your veterinarian to get that for you, okay? A lot of times we just you know, go with whatever the vet has in the hospital. But if you really know that something else will be better for your cat, ask the vet to get that for you or buy it online, right? There are a ton of products out there. I like the isosthazolines. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but the things like um, Brevecto. Brevecto's topical. It lasts for weeks. It also gets mites amazing right so make sure that you are using a quick kill long lasting flea kill product on your cat if you are noticing fleas the other thing to do is address your environment fleas as i already said love to hide in cracks under under cushions in carpets on bedding um, in leaf litter underneath um, patios they like dark cool places and that's where they're going to go to hide and hatch and cause you problems. So if you are in a heavy flea area or you're dealing with constant reinfestation, then you have got to address not only killing the fleas on the cat, but also in the environment. And for this, you're going to, it's going to be a bit of a pain. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and it may get worse before it gets better if you have a bad problem, but the best thing you can do, vacuum, 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 and then vacuum again. I would say vacuum every day for a week and then vacuum like every other day for another couple of weeks. And this includes vacuuming in and under your seat cushions, um, washing pet bedding, getting into cracks and crevices, getting your carpet vacuumed. Um, doing that will suck up eggs and pupa and larva and even adult fleas in the environment. And it will continue to suck them up as they hatch because you know they're going to keep hatching and keep hatching and keep hatching. 
Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better because if you have a lot of fleas in your environment and then they hatch, now they're all around you. But those fleas are going to die off if you're using your good flea control product on the cat and making sure to address um, stuff in the environment as well. People often ask me about natural um, solutions for fleas as well. Sure, try it. I mean, what? What's the what? What? I mean, the worstest thing is that it doesn't work, right? Um, diatomaceous earth is a powder that works really well if you sprinkle it, especially um, in in um, cracks and crevices, um, if you sprinkle it under um, couch cushions, um, if you do sprinkle it on carpet, you kind of got to work it in. You got to work it in with your fingers because and then, you know, rake it. I would even rake it. That dries out pupa and larva, kills them, works really well, natural, totally safe. Um, some people will plant azalea bushes because those will repel a lot of them. Um, those, uh, not azalea bushes, I'm sorry. The, it's the ones that are the orange ones. Maybe you guys can help me out. They're the orange ones that people use in the gardens that keep the bugs away. Somebody, you, whoever is gonna figure that out for me in the comment section, go for it. But again, if you have a bad flea infestation, it can take two to three weeks, even up to a month to get rid of it. So. Also start early. I have so much to say about this topic, as you can tell. Start early, start before it gets warm out. That way you keep those fleas out of your world, basically before they even start. The other thing about fleas that you should know is that they carry a couple of diseases that um, can make your cat sick. Tapeworms being a main one, right? Humans can get them also. And it's funny, the only way you can get tapeworms is by ingesting a dead flea that has a developing life stage um, of tapeworm in it. Isn't that gross, right? So if you have tapeworms, that means at some point, well, we're not gonna talk about that, but these are all things that you can do to help you be able to um, keep fleas out of your environment.